Yeah, we're good. All right, so we're going to start. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Alma Quatin. I am a senior product marketing manager uh, in Azure Marketing, covering ad, uh, Azure Marketplace. And this is my colleague, uh, Brian Levinson. He's an amazing program manager in the engineering organization, covering Marketplace and the cloud communities. Um, so what we're going to talk to you about now, or this today, is uh, monetizing your product through AppSource and Azure Marketplace. What's on the agenda? So we're going to cover a little bit about why marketplaces matter. Um, what's in it for you in terms of Azure Marketplace and how you should monetize your business. Um, and a little bit about how we go to market and how we publish. So I'm going to start with just the value prop of what Azure Marketplace is, uh, our two storefronts, AppSource and Azure Marketplace. And then my colleague Brian will cover about uh, our publishing options to the storefronts. All right. So why Marketplace? Um, so a lot of customers, right, when they're looking for their solutions or their applications, they are leveraging a lot of self-service, right? So when you have, when you publish your application or when IT professionals or developers are looking, a lot of them, 84% of them are utilizing uh, online uh, applications. What, what is good for you with this is that you can leverage some brand awareness and promotion with all of the vendors, of course, Microsoft, when you're leveraging your Marketplace. Um, is anyone listed in AppSource or Azure Marketplace? Show of hands. Okay, a couple, a uh, couple, couple. Have you, has it uh, drove in awareness for you? Yeah? Okay, awesome. So we have a couple case studies here. Um, I'm gonna go through a little bit around the two different storefronts. So, Microsoft Cloud Marketplace, we have two storefronts. One is Azure Marketplace. This is really t catered to IT professionals and developers. You'll find more here, IaaS and PaaS solutions uh, that are geared towards IT prof professionals and developers. In AppSource, BDMs, business users, line of business, this is where you're going to find more of your SaaS applications. It is a little bit of a gray line. You will find SaaS applications in Azure Marketplace and IaaS and AppSource, but just to kind of give you some differentiation, those are the two different storefronts. Um, when you publish to Marketplace, you can also do applications and consulting services. Um, that is one key differentiator with Microsoft. So you can have applications that are geared toward IT professionals, but then if you also have a consulting service that is, hey, I'm going to give you a technical architecture or migration or an assessment, this is also something that you can monetize through uh, AppSource and Azure Marketplace. Now, once you're ready to go to market, uh, we have and will be launching uh, a new uh, go to market uh, program uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, this program is really for three different things. So one is to uh, support you in all your stages of go to market. So when you're driving top of the funnel um, uh, awareness, middle of the funnel demand gen and then closing, we now have multiple go to market benefits that I'll cover across all those uh, sales stages. Second is uh, simplifying the, bi the benefits discovery. I have heard time and time again, give me one source of truth, a one-stop shop to find all things, everything Microsoft. This is gonna be coming into partner center. So we're consolidating all of the uh, OCP, one commercial partner programs, the go-to-market programs within partner center. So you don't have to go everywhere for everything. It's a one consolidated shop. And then last but not least, uh, providing you flexibility, yes, with picking what go-to-market benefits you have. So currently today, we give you kind of everything. So hey, you're a publisher, or you have a trial in uh, AppSource, or you have a transactable offer in AppSource. These are the seven things, and you just kind of get them. What we're moving to is think about um, uh, airlines or sky miles or something like that. Hey, you earn your incentives, and you get to choose what you want. So it might be, hey, I want uh, $25,000 of sandbox environments and sponsorships, or I want to be featured on the Azure blog, or I want to. So instead of kind of uh, making you or kind of forcing you to, to consume, you get to choose. And again, this is some of the things that, are, that we'll be rolling out in the next couple of weeks. Quick preview of what some of those will look like. Um, so for instance, if you publish, um, we will, and this is both in AppSource and Azure Marketplace, uh, we'll give you some listing optimization and social amplification. So to my point, 
uh, when we're promoting and when we're having that joint awareness, this will help you go to market in terms of the awareness perspective. Uh, once you start to consume, you'll see in the demand gen and close sell, some of the things will be the blog post that could be on Azure uh, Azure.com, that could be uh, part of our Microsoft partner community, depending on how, how good you are, it might be one of the CVPs that blog about you or some sort of customer success story. Um, and then once you look to lead development, the trial sandbox sponsorship is a really good one um, that a lot of people like. Um, and then executive public relations and endorsements, you see those dollar signs, right? So those tier consumptions, million plus, that's when you get the Julia White, et cetera. Now, if you have questions, please email this alias, gtm at microsoft.com. I love you all, but we pay lots of money for vendors to scale. So, of course, you can always email me, but this GTM alias is staffed with people that have questions. As I said, as you publish, the, the, the call to action, if you, if you don't remember anything, is publish your solution or service to AppSource or Azure Marketplace. And then once you actually start to consume and get some traction, we will actually be contacting you to say, hey, you've reached $25,000 of, of consumption. Here's your go-to-market benefits, et cetera, et cetera. But again, if you have questions, feel free to email that alias. Uh, next slide, oh, best practices. Okay, publisher guide, yeah. So marketplace uh, assets. If you visited us in the booth, a lot of us went through the publisher guide. These are best practices on, okay, hey, when I'm actually publishing my offer in AppSource and Azure Marketplace, what should my product uh, d detail page look like? Uh, what should my image tagging look like? And we actually cater it to offer types. So if, depending on if it's a container app or a SaaS app or specific to industry, we'll give you some best practices. Uh, also in here are some go-to-market practices. So we have this, uh, this other program where it will um, uh, uh, surface uh, different content that's relevant to maybe the industry or the customer that you're trying to serve. And then you figure out how to utilize that, whether it's via Twitter, via LinkedIn, and kind of gives you a static page to run either a social uh, media campaign or even an email blitz. Um, so this, again, uh, Marketplace Assets is another good uh, resource for you guys to leverage. And with that, I think I'm going to hand it off to my colleague, Brian, who's going to uh, cover some of the uh, publishing options uh, when you're ready to publish to AppSource or Azure Marketplace. Awesome. Thank you, Alma. <coughs> it's really exciting to hear the investments we make in our partners, those of you who are developing on top of our cloud, making our products better. And so I want to just take a couple of minutes and talk about how do you actually publish? What should you do? What types of solutions are available? <laughs> um, three steps a couple more than that. Each one of these have a few steps along the way. But really, the, the first and foremost uh, opportunity is you become a Microsoft partner. Partner.microsoft.com, you sign up for a Microsoft partner ID. Um, and then you sign up to become a marketplace publisher. Uh, this is to get a publisher profile, information about your organization, uh, payout information so that we can uh, make sure that you receive the revenue generated by your application or your service. And then, as you go through the publishing process, and I'll explain this in a little bit more detail, you submit these offerings, and Microsoft goes through and does a review. We want to make sure that we have high quality offerings in our marketplace, uh, and so this means things like making sure it's not malware, not malicious, um, not inappropriate content. We help make sure that the, the content around the marketing of it, the description, uh, logos, images, all of these are gonna show up optimally in the marketplace. Um, and then we make sure that the offering appears to the right audience at the right time in the right place. Alma described the difference between Azure Marketplace, IT and dev products, um, and AppSource, business and industry. And we have a single consolidated publishing process. Based on how you configure your offering, it will appear in either Azure Marketplace or AppSource. It will be available in the catalog for Microsoft's resellers. We have about 60,000 resellers globally who service millions of customers. And you can configure your offering to be available through those resellers as well. Um, and also Microsoft's field team. We have a massive enterprise sales organization. And so through the single consolidated publishing process, you can go to market side by side with Microsoft. Allow our resellers, our field teams, our web stores and customer self-service to identify and find Office 365 plus the add-ins that make it better. Dynamics 365 plus the add-ins that make it better. Azure applications, software as a service, et cetera. Today, 
you publish in Cloud Partner Portal. Uh, this is actually just, I guess, a screenshot um, of the, the UI. It's really quite simple. The example we have on the screen is a virtual machine. There are a number of different offering types and deployment mechanisms that you can use today. VM images, virtual machines, container images, Azure applications. These are solution templates that automatically deploy into a customer's environment. Managed applications. This is a, an interesting one that is essentially a black box that sits within a customer's tenant within their Azure environment. But the ISV, the publisher, the software uh, creator, actually has access to that to manage, upgrade, maintain that service, um, as well as then software as a service. Kind of traditional SaaS web apps that will sit in your own subscription in your environment and a customer would access over the network. This is here today in CPP, Cloud Partner Portal. You create your offerings. Uh, you also get insights. How are the sales doing? Where are the customers? What is their consumption? Who are the resellers that are bringing your product uh, to their customers? In the coming weeks, we are consolidating the publishing process from Cloud Partner Portal into Partner Center. If you have an existing profile, you'll receive an email and an invitation. Uh, in Partner Center, this is where, as Amma mentioned, you find your MPN, Microsoft Partner Network Benefits, program inclusion, um, all types of, of uh, various programs that you participate in with Microsoft, and the marketplace publishing is moving here as well. This is kind of a, a sneak peek of what it's going to look like, where you'll have a landing page, find information about the progress of your publishing profile, um, get started resources, and then when you go to create an offering, you have a very similar experience, same requirements, same options, uh, same configuration steps, but in the Partner Center user experience. Um, additional roles, so RBAC permissions will be more configurable. It's in the same portal that you're familiar with uh, already as a Microsoft partner. And with this transition to Partner Center, we're also introducing the ability to bill per user for software as a service as we bring transaction capabilities to our app stores, web store, for business and industry solutions. So in early June, you will go to Partner Center to publish software as a service offerings, be able to bill monthly or annually on a per site or per seat per user basis, and then customers will be able to discover and purchase directly out of app stores. The other billing models, in addition to those subscriptions that we have for software as a service, are really consumption-based. VM images um, and Azure applications bill based on the consumption of that VM on an hourly basis. Uh, over the coming weeks, a little bit later in Microsoft's, um, I guess, Q1 of fiscal year, so July-ish, uh, we'll be introducing the ability to bill based on custom meters or uh, additional meter dimensions say, the number of emails that are sent, the number of tickets entered. When you create your offering, you give the name to that meter, and then via API, you just give us an, uh, an update on how much was consumed. We do the math on units times price, and then we'll do the billing for that. So that will first be coming to software as a service, um, and then some of the other offering types as well. I think. That leaves us with uh, a call to action and then um, to open it up to any questions or we'll stick around um, to join the marketplace. First, you get an MPN ID, partner.microsoft.com, and then aka.ms slash join marketplace. Uh, you can find a lot more information on AppSource and Azure Marketplace on Bing or uh, I guess any other search engine. And we also have a cloud marketplace booth in the back uh, of the expo hall. Thank you so much for your time. We're happy to stick around and answer questions, and uh, we'll be at the, the booths um, for the rest of the day. Thank you.